Hey guys, it looks like some information has been shared regarding the unfound Easter eggs on Zetsubo no Shima. This does come from a really credible source, and some of the stuff they talk about is pretty interesting. The first thing they said is that the Anywhere But Here gobble gum that teleports you into the dragon room to get that cog is intentional, and it is the only way that you can get up there. Also, there's another wonder weapon that we haven't found yet, and it's called Spider Bait, and it allows you to control the spiders. That would be amazing to have something like that. Honestly, I think there are too many spiders on the map like constantly spawning every round it's kind of obnoxious i don't like them i wish they would like tone down the spiders and they did something similar on shadows of evil where they had way too many marguas and now they've like cut them back but i doubt they'll ever cut back the spiders so hopefully this gun will help a little bit and the information also says that on certain events that have not been found yet that the spores will make you think that you're dead or that you don't have a weapon. And I'm wondering if that's part of that hallucination Easter egg. Also, the information is saying that there's an unfound weapon named Taser Knuckles. And to me, that sounds like Galva Knuckles, but this information is saying that it may lead up to being like an upgraded Bowie knife. Now onto the bigger stuff. There is an Easter egg called Distant Monster Easter Egg. That's the only information that there is. But when I think about this, it reminds me of the Cthulhu mythos that surrounds this island. In the stories by H.P. Lovecraft, he's made this island Island, Cthulhu's home and he doesn't live on the island he actually lives off of the island like under the water and distant monster makes me think that yeah we might be seeing some version of this Cthulhu monster this next one on the list should be pretty exciting it's called the doppelganger jump scare so we're actually getting a jump scare on this map we didn't get one on the last map but this one seems to be a little bit different you do use a sniper but it seems that instead of a picture popping out at you something actually comes after you like some type of monster like a doppelganger type clone so that is going to be really unnerving to go look for this next one on the list is called spore hallucinations easter egg and i had actually made a video on this where we found most of these steps but there's still definitely more to it what you do is you stand inside those yellow spore clouds and then walk into lab a or lab b or other parts of the map you see a white light flash on your screen and then you'll see blood all over the walls then you hear this really creepy voice start talking and he's speaking japanese and he's basically saying you know help me you know he's in trouble and it's kind of hard to tell but yeah, basically he's, you know, in some kind of distress. This next Easter egg, I know a lot of people are working on, me and Slick worked on it for about three hours, and it's the Melody Bulbs Easter egg, and I think it plays a second song, we can all assume that. But yeah, it's pretty tricky, it's down underneath the bunker, and you gotta put water inside these, like, bulbs, I guess they're, yeah, they're Melody Bulbs and play a certain tune and yeah you'll unlock something the last thing i want to talk to you guys about is the next zombies map and this was told to me and i trust it and basically the next map is going to be stalingrad and there's going to be some type of dragon and there's also going to be russian mechs so i don't know if that's going to be a panzer or what but that's all i know at this point i think most people believe we are not going to stalingrad next and the reason that is is the end of this cutscene. rick toffin says there's something they must do there's a chain of events they have to set in motion before they go and deal with Nikolai's other self. Well, during the white screen on the cutscene, that's where they were going and taking care of setting those chain of events in motion. Then they portal back in and who knows how long they had been gone dealing with that. They could have been gone for a really long time. They're in a different dimension and time could have stood still here. So they left for days or weeks and then came back and it's the same time. So they came back with blood vials and Rick Toffin mentioned something about them having an insurance policy now. So we're not going to be having a map where we go set these chain of events in motion that that is done. We are going to Stalingrad next to deal with Nikolai. And as per Jason Blundell, we're going to learn about what these blood vials are for before DLC 4. So that'll be really interesting. So Stalingrad is going to be the next map. What is DLC 4 going to be? That's going to be really exciting. And let me know what you guys think about this. I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next video. Song and dance again! <laughs>